Hey guys, uh, back for another tier list. We're doing Guardians now, uh, the blue color. And um, you know, the goal of this tier list is basically to just give you the highest value uh, heroes you should focus on building. Not early game, not mid game, but overall, over your entire run playing Mythic Heroes, uh, these are the best heroes. I recommend sticking to one color at a time and building them up, mainly because the Divinity a faith resource uh, it runs out really quick if you try and spread your focus and uh, you'd much rather have like powerful heroes that you're focusing on uh, blue is actually pretty easy I think um, blue and green are the worst factions in the game um, but I think blue looking at this poo poo platter here I think blue might um, actually be the worst and I said in the shadow arc red video to, if you have a favorite then just build them for sure but you might want to reconsider for blue because they're pretty terrible. Um, let's start with the easy ones though. So Archimedes, uh, one of the best heroes in the game. And you want to, um, especially if you're a newer account, you want to force build him and Odin first. Um, because he's, he's one of the best carries in the game and blue is really bad. Um, so that's a good combination for you to focus all your blue resources to Archimedes. And, um, and he's one of the best uh, pure carries in the game. Um, there's a few heroes that might be able to match up. Um, one is Nobunaga, but that's uh, UR, um, so not really realistic, especially now that his event has passed. But um, Apollo is another, and his event also passed too, so that's realistic. Uh, Archimedes is always paired with Odin, um, and then in PvE, he'll be paired with um, Hela a lot, uh, Freya al almost always, Medusa a lot, and then in PvP, He'll be paired up with like Gabriel and Tangan, Iset, and um, and I'm forgetting someone, um, Cassandra, right? Uh, speaking of Cassandra, let's kind of put her in the A tier. I actually think you can argue for Cassandra as S tier as well, but um, my definition of S tier is is heroes you go out of your way to build and force copies for, and so I'll put her in the A tier. Um, a lot of these blue heroes actually. Their tier gets upgraded because their competition is so bad. Um, Cassandra, her niche is um, she still heals once she dies. So, you know, there's certain like dirty uh, PVE opponents or even PVP opponents where, you know, they'll kill something really fast or, you know, the, the hook enemies where they kind of hook something and it dies. Um, or like sometimes you're, you're at such a level deficit that you're backline is just dying like right off the bat um, and in those spots like Cassandra provides value where almost no other hero does so she's almost she's S tier in those situations but overall I'll give her an A she's just a very straightforward healer that also lives past death um, and then S tier uh, A slash S but we'll just give him an S because he's really good and because blue sucks is uh, YSS Yi Sunshin and his uh his niche is he gives defense and tenacity to heroes on the flanks and so the flank means uh on the line with the three heroes the two on the edge are the ones that get the get the buff um, he's also quite tanky quite sturdy um he's, he's in a lot of uh top pvp comps um and then we'll go ahead and put uh leonidas as a a tier as well if i can find him uh, Leonidas' niche is uh, he has a damage reduction aura or passive um, so he's actually like the best uh, pound for pound tank in terms of just like taking damage um, and his abilities aren't too bad either like calling the soldiers and stuff I really can't seem to find him okay so Leonidas in the A tier I think that does it for all of the good blue heroes the rest are pretty much trash um, oh except for the new one uh, I think she's really good um, it's looking like it. So let's go ahead and just dump all of these into the D tier for now and then see if they're worth uh, moving up. So, um, Joan, Hercules, and I, I don't know. Like, I think um, some people will say, like, oh, this is my favorite hero. This is how you unlock her or him. Um, you know, they're actually better than you give them credit for. And uh, that's what I'm looking forward to. Like, you know, discussions and stuff. I always change my mind. Um, I think Lubu is like a D. Uh, I think like in, in pure definition of the term, 
you would give him like a C. Uh, but the reason I give him a D is because he so his niche is like single target damage, and he can kind of like stun lock and keep something locked down. Doesn't work against bosses. He's basically outclassed by. So in that role of like you know single target DPS, I think he's he's just outclassed by like so many heroes. I think even like Freya can put up comparable DPS to him maybe. Um, but like you know Susano, uh, Neftis, you know Archimedes, uh, Apollo. I mean Art Artemis. Like there's just so many heroes that are doing what he's doing. Um, Chiron even without like being is that Chiron? I don't even know how to pronounce it. Um, but you know, without being worthless, um, like like him, so I think he's a D. I think Cleopatra is also a D. She just does like poison damage. She gives a little distractions with her snakes, but you know she's pretty fragile. Um, yeah, she's just not that good. She's outclassed as well, um, but I think she's super outclassed even uh, by by the new hero here, um, Mirasaki. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, she's not very good. Aladdin, okay, let's save Aladdin. Uh, Joan might be C, um, but I don't know. I, I think she's she's pretty bad as well, too. She doesn't even really have a niche. She's like, uh, I think her alt's like, you know, it, so it like keeps someone alive. Um, she also has like auras. Uh, so she has a charge at the start, uh, which you'll notice in, PV, in PvE. Um, she has a an aura that... Uh, increases attack and defense. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't like use her that much. I don't see her in like a lot of uh, top formations. Um, but you know, like I could see her being a C because um, of like the the combination of different buffs and stuff. Um, there's actually not that many heroes that give like you know that many um, buffs, uh, like aura kind of buffs. So yeah, I mean, I guess I could see her being a C. Um, Hercules is like a very uh, weird hero. Um, if you look at his uh, iconic weapon, he has like, um, you know, this like super stacking buff. So, um, like that boosts his damage on the counter attack. And so, you know, you obviously like want him to get ganged up on. I don't think, unfortunately, I don't think a PVE quite works that way because you get into such a level gap um, that your opponents will just kill you. Uh, he's supposed to be like an aggro soaking shield. I have heard stories of like whales building him up like like a super strong. And then he, I think he does pretty well. But I mean, I'm not going to really realistically expect any of you to put all your resources into Hercules and then IW him to 400 just to kind of see what happens. I mean, you could dust your whole account, uh, just ruin your whole account doing that. So I'm just going to put him in D. And um, look for the meme videos of someone crushing with uh, with Thor and Hercules. Um, Aladdin as well is also like really interesting and really weird. Um, he, he doesn't even really have a niche. His niche is like he builds this genie uh, that copies his stats. So like theoretically, if you had um, if you had like a super strong Aladdin, the only problem is he's a support. So like supports you know don't do as much damage and uh contribute as much you know they're like supports right so you know and then i also think uh the yeah the genie like buffs are, are kind of like underwhelming and gimmicky they're not really doing like the raw damage that you need um i also know of like so aladdin was recently released so there are like certain whales who have you know built him up like quite a bit and uh, no one really likes him so i think he's like cool on paper um but still a d um, and then finally, I think that's it for, man, what a terrible lineup of heroes. Oh, and then GM, um, GM, I think is also, um, a D you could bring them up and they might be like a C cause they do do like pretty, they actually do like really solid, um, DPS. And then they're also good at like PVP even later. Um, they might even be like a B tier for me. Uh, the B tier is actually blank, so maybe we bring them up to B. I mean, I think like so. You know, if you were pulling on your account and you did run into like multiple copies of of GM, I actually think they are kind of worth building after Archimedes, uh, mostly because they do magic damage, which uh, is hard to get in this game. Um, 
so if you stumble into like GM naturally, I think they're worth building. I think they're also okay to, you know, solid in like a PvP blue comp. Uh, I think they're pretty decent. Um, and then they're also good in the early game. So I guess I give them a B, like more more to a C. Um, I put them there. And then I think um, uh, Mirasaki is an A, uh, close to an S. So she might actually move um, GM down to a C. Because especially with her event going on right now, I guess if you stumble into GM... Um, you would build them, but you should never build them over, uh, over Mirasaki. And the thing is, like, she's really new. But uh, one of the interesting things about Mirasaki is she's showing up on like all of the the DPS um, bosses, and so um, I think she does a ton of damage. I haven't used her even once yet. But if you look at how many, unless there's like something weird about being a new hero, um, if you look at how many boss comps she's showing up on, um, I'm guessing when she's left alone, she just does like an insane amount of damage. I mean, she's even being brought up in like the physical damage boss comps. Um, she doesn't have any group buffs, um, so this is just pure damage. So I'm assuming she just does an insane amount of damage. Um, and if that's true, then, you know, a lot of like high level players have told me, um, they think she'll be pretty good in PV, uh, P. So, and looking at this, it looks like she can also be like a carry for a Neo count as well. Um, so she just seems super strong looking at this, um, which was my guess because she's one of the heroes that's being open to... Uh, she, that's being used to open the Japanese region and Japan is like a super um, top market in gacha gaming so yeah and then even for the guild boss you see her in basically every comp so I would guess either there's something weird that like everyone's forcing her because she's new or she's just super good in um, in PvE stuff um, so uh, and if we define S tier as like force copies of her to build her up um i think she's even worth uh building up right now like if i was starting a new account i might actually just funnel everything into her um trying to get like some of these free resources because i know i want to use her in the future anyway so it's like you're just getting kind of free resources so just in the spirit of the event uh we'll put her at s for now um but see how that develops but i can't see her dropping below a um so yeah i would really appreciate your comments here um, tell me if i'm underrating any of these losers down here and thanks for watching